It's been exactly 9 months since I left my lab in India behind. For once, letting go ended up giving me way more than I could have ever imagined in the form of donations from the rep sub or members among plenty of other things. That means I can finally get back to work. The original idea for this video comes from Mark's Manhattan prototyping system. The Manhattan method itself dates back quite a bit and has been used extensively in RF. More interestingly, Manhattan prototyping formed the basis of the original Jim Williams' amazing work. Given all of this, I decided to leave breadboards and puffboards behind and move on. I designed my own set of adapters and got a lot of them made from JLC, the idea being to somehow stick them to a blank FR4 copper clad board and use enamel copper wire to connect them together. You can find a list of adapter boards and their intended use in the project repository, which along with Mark's repository you can find in the description. Let's start with something simple today. I want to take a look at level shifters since Dimin's Pico GPIB project will probably need some. Sadly, most of the level shifting circuits I've seen on the internet fall into the same trap of naivety. They work in theory but fail to go into the details of practice. Let's choose something to pick on. This one which is particularly oblivious to the real world. The basic requirement for Manhattan prototyping is a baseboard, which in my case is a 7x10cm FR4 single-sided copper clad board. I'm going to try to stick these SOT23 breakout boards, which can be used for a lot more than breaking out SOT23 by the way, to the base board using tape. These power strips get the same treatment. I found an easy and cheap way to construct probe holders using metal wire I found in the craft section of the local thrift shop. I gave up using the ground clip and hook for most purposes since it does not really help when you are trying to do anything precise or high speed. It took me a little practice to get this process right and now I can make tight reliable holders. The coil of wire that goes around the tip is made from pintails which I have already started collecting. Perfect. Turns out simple tape was not strong enough to hold these long power strips in place so I resorted to using some super glue. Pinheaders make convenient grabbing points for my newly acquired Hirschman power clips. Before I go ahead with the rest of the circuit, here's a quick test of the input line. Surprisingly, there are some edge artifacts that probe holders don't seem to fix. Construction might seem cumbersome, but with some practice it should be relatively easy to put circuits together quickly. At the very least, this process is much less time consuming than planning a puffboard layout. After half an hour's worth of work, this circuit is ready to be tested. Everything seems perfectly fine at first glance, but the function generator is set to only 1 kHz. At 10 kHz, this circuit's flaws become visible, and at 100, it stops working altogether. Zooming into the waveform at 50 kHz, the slow rising and falling edges become visible. There is also a 5 microsecond turn off delay, thanks to the fact that this circuit does nothing to solve base storage time, among other things. The next circuit is a classic MOSFET bidirectional level shifter. While the falling edge looks reasonable, the rising edge has a few problems caused by the Miller effect. For the third approach, I wanted to try something a little different. I adapted this simple circuit that Femboy, the Gaihoe top door couplers, derived from the classic Baker clamp configuration. I was not able to replicate his results probably because I used the wrong capacitor values. To bypass this problem, I reconfigured the circuit to be inverting but that still doesn't improve turn off times. It would admittedly be lazy to just stop here and not present a perfect discrete level shifter, but that is not the point of this video. I wanted this to be a quick introduction to Manhattan prototyping which I will be using for all future projects. And as for level shifters, maybe just buying some wouldn't hurt. <laughs> 